We welcome you to another episode of Sports Talk. I'm Ted Emmerich. Wrestling continues to grow in McKinney ISD. In fact, all three schools sent wrestlers to the regional meet. North, the only school to have a wrestler qualify for state. That was senior Daryl Travis. We'll sit down with his coach, Sean Brazier, to review his season and the work the rest of the Bulldogs put in this year. McKinney Boyd coach Dave Clayton will stop by as we look back on the Broncos season. Boyd actually had the best district finish among all teams in MISD. And McKinney coach Bruce Blackman will be here as well. Much like North has to move on without Travis, the Lions will certainly miss Jacob Judd, who finished his career with another trip to regionals. We will also have the Dennis Baker State Farm Scholar Athlete of the Week coming up next on Sports Talk. Another productive season, the 10th under coach Bruce Blackman. Of course, they're in a district dominated by heavyweights like Allen and the three Plano schools. But once again, the Lions were represented at the regional meet. Bruce, how do you sum up this year overall? Um, overall, I mean, you know, I was happy with how Jacob finished up and a few of my wrestlers. Um, you know, a little disappointed overall. I was looking for, you know, something more. But, I mean, that's coaching and that's what you're always looking for. You know, you want it all or and you're never satisfied, so it comes with the territory. You mentioned Jacob Judd. He advanced to regionals for a second straight year, and in fact, he lost to the eventual champion there in Katy mm -hmm. in the second round. What will you remember the most about Jacob's senior year? Um, Jacob was just always, you know, he wasn't a vocal leader, but he was always, you know, leading in practice. Uh, you know, never had to worry about him coming into under shape as he came right from cross country right to me. and. You know, he was the type of wrestler that I knew if I got him into the third period, uh, we had a real good chance coming out on top. So, You bring up his experience in cross country, and obviously he'll be a part of Francis Jones' track team as well coming mm -hmm. up here later in the spring, really a standout in those long-distance events. It would seem like the endurance, the stamina required in that sport can help him on the mat. Do you see that as the uh, Yeah, it's always, you know, um, you know, when I start recruiting in October, I always, you know, head to the football team first and get those guys and try to get them in. And then the cross country guys are next because, you know, I know they don't, most of them aren't basketball players. And, you know, I know they're going to be in shape when I get them. And that's, you know, half the battle. Judd finishing second in district in his weight class, 113 pounds. He had two memorable victories over top-notch competition, Plano's Tyler Worth and Plano West's Jacob Sandlin. What allowed Jacob Judd to come out on top in those two matches? Um, I think it's just his, ex his experience. He, you know, he wrestles smart. He's good on his feet. Uh, you know, he never gets in trouble. And, you know, he's one of the wrestlers who came up through our kids program, our Matt Rats. And, uh, you know, and that... He just never gets him in a spot where he can get in trouble, and that's his strong point. He's a real smart wrestler. While Jacob moves on, he's preparing to graduate. Layden Lyle is just beginning his high school career uh -huh. for you. And as a freshman, he was on the varsity level the whole year. That's an accomplishment really yes, in itself. It what did you like about Layden here in his freshman season? Well, season? I mean, he came in at 160, and that's not a, you know, a weight class for young boys to come in at. There's some men out there. Um, he too came through our Matt Rats and had a lot of experience. He had three older brothers that all wrestled for me, so I'm sure there were some matches going on at home too. And uh, you know, same thing. He's got to get stronger and you know work on some intensity issues and that sort of thing. But you know, I'm looking forward to three more years with him. Now that's quite a lineage that the yes. Lyles have with you. You're the fourth Lyle that you've coached. Mm -hmm. How does Layden compare to his brothers? Uh, you know, he's going to be taller and bigger than any of them, I believe, uh, you know, which is going to be a good thing. He's not quite as intense as, you know, maybe some of the older ones, but I think that'll come with age and, you know, experience and that sort of thing. So I'm looking forward to it. How good do you think Layden can be? Uh, three years left, it's hard to project the future, but uh, it seems yeah. like he has a good foundation. Yeah, he does. Uh, you know, his brother tells me he's going to work him out over the summer and get him stronger. So, 
you know, I'll have a good indication next fall when he comes back to me, and we'll go from there. Yeah, Landry went to the regional meet last year mm -hmm. uh, as a senior for you. Uh, Britton Corona will be back. He mm -hmm. finished fourth in district in his weight class. Uh, what do you need Britton uh, as he comes into his senior year coming up? Um, Britton's a real tall kid, about 6'4", and he just needs some beef on his body. And, you know, I've told him that last year and again this year, and he's working on it. He wrestles in the off season, so his technique and everything is there. He just has to get the guns put on the ship, and we'll go from there. So, Connor Ensley, I'm sure he has some guns in the lighter weights. He <clears throat> finished up a nice year for you as a sophomore. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you like about Connor? Connor really surprised me this year. He came through some matches that, you know, you know, we sit down and pair him up when we start and go, and, uh, I don't know if we can win this one. I'm talking to my assistant coach, and he came through. Uh, you know, again, just a real scrappy wrestler, a smart wrestler, and did it for us. And I'm, you know, again, looking forward to having him two more years. So, Overall, Bruce, you have four Letterman back. You like what you have coming up in the JV ranks. What's the next step for this team? You know, it's just going to be, you know, I tell them every year, two things will make you a better wrestler. One is mat time, and the other is getting stronger. Uh, you know, the getting stronger thing, that's kind of up to them. The mat time, there's clinics and, you know, camps all over all summer long. And, you know, I give them all those options and hope they take the bait and go with it. It seems like every two years we talk about UIL realignment, but there is an even more drastic change uh, in wrestling here uh -huh. in Texas. The fact that now there will be classifications, uh, divisions, not just one lump conference yeah. right there for everybody. And you don't know yet where you're going to place. Could it be the new 5A in wrestling? Could it be in Class 4A? Just like in football and any other sport, the enrollment at McKinney is right on the edge. Mm -hmm. Where do you think McKinney will land? land? You know, I... Gave up trying to figure out the UIL years ago. Uh, you know, I'm thinking that we're going to be on the small end of it in the 4A schools, but, you know, I don't know how they're going to do the regions and everything. They have, I don't think they've figured that out yet. So whether we're going to have two state tournaments at the same time or a week apart, you know, so I'll just wait and see what cards they deal me and I'll deal with that hand then so yeah, just like every wrestling coach across the state right <laughs> yes about indeed now. we're all in the same boat so. uh, we, we know the season has been long over at this time a couple of months removed uh, but the foundation for next year's team is already being laid this yes, off sir. season how important is this time for your team uh, right now you know the big thing we work on is getting stronger and you know and the wrestling the technique you know obviously that helps but you know you got to take care of that first and I like giving them some time off, you know, just not a whole lot of wrestling. We're just starting to get back in the technique again a little bit in my athletic period. But, you know, we're still going to concentrate on getting stronger. When they come back in the fall, we'll kind of get off of that, get into conditioning, and then into the technique real hard again and go from there. Well, Bruce, we appreciate your time. Congratulations on All this right. season. Thank and you, best sir. Best luck going into the 11th year. All right. McKinney Thank High. you. Bruce Blackman, head coach of the McKinney Lions, already building toward next season.